Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miss Kitten Heart Creates. I am Malin. I'm known as Miss Kitten Heart all over the social media on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, my blog, pretty much everywhere. Bravery, too. And uh, this is my podcast, Miss Kitten Heart Creates which is all about creating a homemade, handmade wardrobe. And uh, this is a project I've always loved creating, uh, though I haven't created many garments for myself, but uh, lots of socks and mittens and hats and scarves and uh, things like that and um, this project came about because of the gastric bypass I am going to do on Tuesday and um, since I've always wanted a wardrobe that is handmade and vintage and thrifted, but mostly handmade. Uh, and uh, I've been really inspired by other crafty podcasters, such as um, Handmade and Woolen and uh, Inside Number Twenty, Inside Number Twenty Three. And uh, yes. Um, the surgery uh, is going to make me a lot thinner and it's going to be a lot easier and a lot more fun to make things for myself, make garments for myself. Uh, when I'm not as big, I love vintage clothes, I love using vintage patterns and um, that is not the easiest thing to do when you are big. Uh, also buying vintage is hard when you are big. So uh, this is the opportunity of a lifetime for me to make my own clothes from vintage patterns and from newer patterns as well, but a lot of vintage patterns. And um, in smaller sizes and that is what I am sharing with you the things I have made for myself um, when I have lost more weight I have only been eating no drinking liquid very low calorie diet uh, for the past four weeks almost I have three more days to go and I really, really, really can't wait to start eating again. And I've lost some weight already, about 15 pounds maybe. Um, so I am actually a little bit smaller than when I started this project. And uh, I can't wait to grow into my little clothes because I'm pretty much in love with most of it um, and there is one more thing issue uh, on that is I won't go out and buy uh, new material from the shops I am using vintage materials, thrifted materials, uh, things from my stash, uh, things that have been gifted to me and that I uh, have swapped for and uh, that is uh, the biggest challenge of them all uh, because I do want a cohesive wardrobe but um, I am limited to what I can find and um, that 
also makes it interesting because it makes me try things that I wouldn't have tried before um, which you will see today some things I have tried so this is a very long intro today I say just get into it today there is a lot of knitted yarny stuff so all about the yarny goodness oh today it is tea in my vintage ceramic mug from the six from the 60s or 70s I'd say it is by Harry tea I think it's a Danish brand And it's uh, Choco Chai. And uh, I would love a little bit of milk in it, but no milk for another few days. Chai tea is the best with milk. Um, yes, down to business. I think we go directly to my stash enhancements. I was very lucky. I have a friend who, like me, loves to craft and loves to enhance her stash and uh, she needed to weed out her stash a bit and thought of me and gave me two big bags of yarn and it is, it is yarn that I wouldn't have bought myself uh, it is chenille and this this uh, fluffy furry yarn and it's um, some mohair but it is a challenge to make it into something that uh, I would choose myself I got This is called Vamp from Garn Studio Drops and it's a chenille with beautiful autumn colors. And there is some, yeah. Some plastic crunching bags. This is. Let's see if you can see this one. Oh, it's black on black. It's called Drops Symphony by Drops Gone Studio. And it is. Fussy, furry, eyelashy kind of yarn. And uh, this is actually not all polyester. Um, it's mostly merino wool. And then the rest is polyester. Which I really, really like. I do prefer real natural materials. And then it's this. Called Big Boucle. And this is also a lot of wool and I'm thinking about making a collar for the coat I showed you last time to make a shawl collar 
I think it will work well. And all of these yarns, there are pretty much of each of them. Like this one is enough for a jumper. And this is called Wendy Merino DK Fancy. It's a bouquet. Again, and it is uh, it's all wool. So I see what I can manage to do with that texture yarn. couple of cotton chenilles. Garn Studio, Drops Garn Studio, cotton chenille. And I've got some in this teal color. And a whole lot in okay, I haven't opened the bags yet. A whole lot in this green. And these are both all cotton, which is great. And one last bag of yarn. This is Drops Vienna. And this is mostly mohair and a little polyester. And there are Lots and lots and lots of it. And I do all of that crinkling noises. I have a couple of uh, knitting uh, magazines from the 80s, and there are lots of sweaters in mohair. And I'm thinking maybe. I should do one of those. Oh, here is my dog. Hey, Alice. This is Alice. Hi. My little poodle, poodle girl. She's, she's almost a year old. She's growing to be so big. Um, so I'm thinking maybe some kind of 80s mohair right blue jumper. I guess I'll have to see about that. And uh, talking about stash and 80s. I got a pile of patterns. To my delight. There is no less than two Pussable blouses, and I do love my pussable blouses. And it's this shirt dress, and I love these simple dresses. I'm thinking about making one of these pretty soon, and some trousers. Jacket and skirt and a top and 
trousers and a tunic. and a shirt and a long skirt and a big oversized shirt and um, off the shoulder dress and top and skirt with a lot of Blouses. And finally, a jacket and a skirt and a yeah, it's a jacket and a skirt. It looks to be a dress, but uh... so a pile of 80s patterns and uh, it is. Um... Usually isn't my favorite decade, but um, it has its good sides it's as well. And talking about more stash, of course I have to show you some favorite buttons, which I will show you here. <laughs> Also um, got this blouse vintage. Let's say it is as well, maybe I think. And I think that will look great with some high waisted pants, maybe, or I will use it to make something else. Alice Free. And I have a big pile of finished objects beside me, which my dog is jumping into. Um, and that was my stash enhancements. I have finished objects and I have a half finished object. And I can... I have this project bag. It once upon a time was a pillowcase, a cushion case, <coughs> sorry, and uh, I made it into a project bag, just did a lining and a drawstring and I left all the wear and tear on the bag. And I have socks in here. I am um, re-knitting socks that doesn't fit that great so these will become new socks because they are too big and this is one sock on the needles from an old sock And this is one finished sock. I think they are called socks, socks of kindness. I think. And uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Took me quite a while and I'm getting a hat back and that not very smoothly takes us to the finished objects and I'll show you 
the hat that Alice stole. I wanted, see this is the fuzzy yarn that I got and I wanted to make a very fuzzy almost furry hat and uh, mm, I'm not loving this I hat here I'm not loving it I decorated it a bit it's from the bzz, beehive something pattern in uh, stitch and bitch nation Yeah, not loving it. I'm thinking about doing another one and do double strands of yarn to make it bigger and fuzzier and more furry. And this one is finished and I am in love with it. And I love how it's kind of asymmetrical and how the size is just perfect. And uh, love it, can't wait to wear it. It's a gorgeous scarf. It's a, an ice cream shawl. I'm calling it my ocean shawl because all the colors, the blues and the greens and the teals and the turquoise, it reminds me of the sea. So the pattern is the ice cream shawl. Uh, this is a Salka cardigan. I had done a lot on it the last time I showed you. Um, I ran out of yarn. So I, and since it's a discontinued yarn, I couldn't find um, the same yarn. So I used a completely different yarn. This is also uh, variegated with a grey feeling to it. But it's not, this is a tweedy yarn. So it's got that variegation all through the strand of yarn. And this is more from grey to reddish pinkish gray and uh, I used some vintage buttons because why not and these actually are so perfect for this one and uh, the cardigan, I don't know, actually I don't know, I think it is too big, I think actually doing an experiment, I think it fits now and that is not the point. Yep, it fits pretty perfectly at the moment. Which isn't the plan. I am getting rid of selling clothes that fit me or are on the bigger side. So I either I either will um, keep it as an oversized cardigan. 
mm. or I will unravel it and uh, make something else which is too bad I, I kind of like it Okay, let's see if I can continue this without having to shut it off. Alice? She is eating my finished objects. Then I made this. For a little jumper. I saw a photo of a similar jumper in a magazine, in a fashion magazine, and I am not buying clothes, I am making clothes, so I decided to make something uh, like it. Some, so a short sleeved. Fuzzy cardigan. No, sorry. Short sleeve fuzzy jumper with neck and arm and waist band in a smooth yarn. And uh, it's perfect. I love it. And I don't even love, I don't even like this fuzzy yarn. And I love this. It reminds me of the uh, sweater girls from the 50s only with a modern twist and I have a pair of vintage trousers that would look amazing with this one so here's to being, being able to fit into those I have made another scarf can't remember can't remember if I had <laughs> Started. No, I hadn't started on this one um, on my last episode. This I plan to use with the um, burgundy floral coat I made and showed you last time. It is a chunky, pretty short scarf and I also made a pin so I can fatten it and it can be worn in several ways depending on how cold it is. And uh, I love it. It's from a made from a Swedish cheapy brand, acrylic, super ultra mega chunky bulky yarn. And uh, I did this cable bubble pattern, and I love how exaggerate exaggerated they are I love this scarf and it was such a quick knit I also made a little ball to use when fastening it like so But it's not as easy to work as I had planned, so I'll have to see what to do about that. I also have uh, remade an old cardigan. This old red cashmere cardigan. Just a plain cardigan. is not as plain anymore. I have cut flowers, roses from fabric 
and I've hand stitched them on. On the front and one on the sleeve and I'm thinking maybe I am going to add some glass beads too or maybe some more stitching or maybe I'm just keeping it as it is I was thinking about changing the buttons but actually I like the buttons, they are pretty. So a lot of time, not a lot of money and I've got a new cardigan. I also and I just threw these together now. I made a pair of earrings like this there and they are made from actual tarot cards but the tiny tiny ones from the universal weight deck, universal rider weight and the cards I have covered in diamond gloss so they are shiny they are shiny and sturdy and then I added some semi precious stones I think the dark red one is a garnet and the pink one, I don't know. So, those I made today. I also have <coughs> a book which you probably already know about. Um, I asked the my local library to buy the Stitch and Time books and uh, by Susan Crawford and they could only get this one because the first is out of print and I really hope they print it again because if it is as amazing as this one it is amazing there are so many gorgeous knits in this one I really have to buy it myself. Pussy bow jumper, isn't it perfect? And this twin set. There are so many gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic. patterns in this book and you can buy the patterns on Ravelry if I understand it right um, if you just want one or two but I want to make many of them Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So, and it's a big, huge book. I 
hadn't expected it to be such a big book. But I love it. Yeah, I need to have one of my own. Um, but I think that concludes it pretty much. I have shown you my new yarns. I have shown you what I have knitted. I haven't sewn anything because yarn hair because um, I had lent my sewing machine to my sister and uh, now when I have it back my kitchen table is full of stuff and I can't find room for the machine so I have to clear it out um, but I hope to have some sewn things to show you next time, sewn garments. Um, I have things that I have started both to remake and to make from scratch. Um, I don't know when I will be back next time. I plan to to edit this and upload it this weekend so it will be up before I go to the hospital and do my surgery and uh, I don't know how I will feel afterwards. I will bring knitting and a book and I'm thinking about which knitting and which book because I am not the most sociable person. I don't like socializing with strangers. Um, which is what I will find at the hospital. Uh, so I'm thinking what, what knitting, what book. So maybe I will have some knitting to show. Or maybe I'm hoping for the best. I hope that I will be just fine and that they can do the surgery laparoscopically laparoscop with with the little holes uh, and not have to cut open uh, my stomach because that will be worse it will hurt more and it will take a longer time to heal so um, no promises on where I will be, when I will be back, when I have something to show you and uh, when I am fit enough to show you stuff, I guess. It could be a week, two weeks, three weeks, no promises and uh, yeah, I think I'll see what I will do about that purple pink cardigan. It was a bit disappointing having it fit now. That wasn't what I wanted it to do. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you soon. Have a nice day, take care and uh, bye bye.